Well, it's only the end of the first day of early voting and the Erie County Board of Elections is reporting more than 4,300 residents cast their ballots out of the 618,000 people eligible. You might be surprised at just how many of those votes are coming from people who live in the city of Buffalo. Two in your size, Daniel Church has details. On the first day of early voting, a little over half of the ballots cast in Erie County come from neighbors in the city of Buffalo, 2,323 of them to be exact, with a little more than 200 coming from a new polling place, the Theodora Roosevelt inaugural site. We've got more sites than any, any other county. The Erie County Board of Elections has nearly 40 polling places, but this is only the third time early voting has been offered in New York. Once folks start to get used to it, it's going to really help uh, the ease and remove any barriers there are for our, for our election. Of the more than 4,000 in Erie County who cast their ballots Saturday, 3,000 were from Democrats. A little over 900 came from Republicans. A key race on the ballot this year is a tense one between the Democratic Party's pick, India Walton, and incumbent and write-in candidate, Mayor Byron Brown. A few voters tell me they just had to come and cast their ballot on day one because of that race. I feel very strongly about the mayor race. I feel if India Walton gets elected, it will be a disaster. That's one of the reasons I came out here to first time early voting, first time doing this. In a, and uh, I feel that this is a critical race for Buffalo, and if it doesn't go the right way, it's not going to be very good for this city. India uh, has her mind in the right place, um, and she's going to be able to roll out some good progressive policies for the citizens of Buffalo. For those who want their voices heard in this election, you do not need an ID to vote. If you plan to vote early, you have until November 1st. Waiting for Election Day? Make sure you choose your registered polling site. Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.